I feel like I've been on the search for the perfect set of hi-hats for my entire life. Your hats are part of your signature sound. They're part of that core that makes you sound like you. They've got to be fun to play, they've got to be versatile, and they've got to serve the music that you're playing. I'm going to show you three sets of hi-hats. They are all Zildjian products, but they were never sold together as a pair. Are they perfect? Probably not for every setting, but on my scale from one to fun, I give them all a solid heck yeah. So let's get into it right now. One of the best cymbal sounds I've ever had almost didn't happen, but I can safely say that it totally changed my drumming career. If I hadn't come across this sound, I probably wouldn't have played in the bands or the projects that I've played on. So let me explain. One of my favorite drummers of all time is Carter Beaufort of the Dave Matthews Band. I, I love Carter. I love how he plays. I love how he thinks. I love how he sounds. And so at that time, I was trying to make my gear match his, and he played a set of KZ hats, and so I bought myself a pair. I played them a lot. I tried really hard to make them work for me, and they were okay for me, but they never, they never really fit. They were never quite comfortable. At the same time, I was working at a local music shop while I was going to college, and one of our customers brought in a set of K Custom Dark Hats. I thought they looked interesting, so I bought them. One night, just for fun, I decided to mix those two pairs together, so I put the K hat top on the custom dark bottom and man, magic happened right from the get-go. Immediately, it sounded like I thought hi-hats should sound in my head. It felt comfortable, it felt clean, and I never looked back. I played those cymbals for years. Playing that combination changed everything for me. It sounded so good and felt so comfortable. I thought to myself, what else could I do with my cymbals that's not what they were intended for? So if you haven't already, I recommend you get out every single cymbal that you own and see what happens when you put it on the hi-hat stand. I don't care if it's a big ride cymbal or a small splash cymbal, get it on there. Try it on the top, try it on the bottom, and see what sounds you can come up with. So let's start with the combination I just told you about. This is by far going to be the most practical example in this video. It's a regular K top and a K custom dark bottom. And coincidentally, both of these sets are 13 inch sets, so that worked perfectly for me. Let's give it a listen. Now there's a ton that I love about this set of hi-hats. They're nice and crisp and clean if I need to do intricate playing. They've got a great chick sound if I'm playing with my foot. And I think they're great opened up and sloshy if you need to play loud and really dig in. They give me plenty of energy for that. This was my main set of hi-hats for over 10 years. I've played with them in stadium gigs, coffee shops, churches, weddings, corporate parties, and in the recording studio as well. And even though today my main set of hi-hats is a set of 14-inch Constantinopoles, I still find myself reaching for this 13-inch K, K Custom Dark combination on the regular. I absolutely love this set of hats. This next setup I put together just literally just to see what would happen, and I actually have found myself using it pretty frequently depending on the situation. The top is an 11-inch K Custom Hybrid Splash, and the bottom is a 14-inch K Mini China. Let's give it a listen.
So you can hear it in the playing example, but this one isn't nearly as clean or as controllable as the previous set. It's a lot trashier. It's a lot messier of a sound. And it also is a lot louder when you play. So you got to be careful with volume. I don't think I would ever use this as my main set of hats, but I love it as a secondary set or as a sound effect. In fact, I'm a huge fan of any china on the bottom and any crash or splash on the top, as long as the edges sort of line up. Back in the early 2000s, there was a series by Zildjian called the Breakbeat series. In fact, they've been reissued recently under a different name, but they're not quite the same. But back in the early 2000s, I was able to borrow one of these cymbals for a few jazz gigs, and I absolutely loved it. It's an 18-inch breakbeat ride. It's the Zildjian A series. And then shortly after that, Zildjian took these out of production. So a few years ago, when I went to find one, I needed to find one used. So I looked all over the place. I checked eBay and Reverb and all the places you normally look. And I actually, I finally found one just a few miles down the road from me, same city. So I went down, bought the cymbal from another drummer. And then I went to my local drum shop and I, I wanted to show them, hey, look at this cool cymbal I bought. And when I walked in, they were like, hey, we just had one of those come in on trade. It's, it's over on the cymbal wall. So I ended up buying that one too, of course. And then I took them home. And what do you do when you've got two cymbals of the same size and weight? That's right, you put them on the hi-hat stand. Let's give it a listen. I love playing this set of cymbals as a hi-hat. They're a little bit weird. They almost seem to change character depending on whether they're closed or open. If they're closed, it feels a lot like, you know, tapping on a piece of concrete with a toothpick. Like you really have to dig in to get the sound to respond. Although when they're closed, they're not bad as far as articulation and clarity goes. And then when you open them up, it's almost like trying to push a car uphill. You've got to dig in and you gotta be super careful with how far apart they are on the stand to get the sound that you want. But in general, the response time is just a little bit slow. And of course, the hi-hat stand is not built for that much metal to go up and down on the spring. So you gotta be a little careful with the settings and, and really watch how you move your foot. But they're super fun to play. Again. Not something I'd have as my main set, but maybe as a sound effect or on a specific song for a specific sound or effect, they really, really work well. So what's the point of all this? Isn't a set of hi-hats just a set of hi-hats? I mean, you gotta have a set of hi-hats, right? To that I say, no. Your hi-hats are a crucial part of your sound. They make you sound like you, and they can either make your playing more comfortable or less comfortable. In addition, they can really give you that unique edge that's you doing something that nobody else is doing. As long as it fits your playing style and the music that you're trying to play, I say go for it. Get out your cymbals and try every single combination you've got and you may find some things that you absolutely love. So if you've already found a hi-hat combination that you like that's uncommon or unorthodox, or if you find one after watching this video, please drop it in the comments below or better yet, Make a YouTube video and tag Common Sense Musician in it. I want to hear what you come up with. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.